Fellowship Christian Paladins have plenty of momentum right now coming off of a big win last Friday night and this morning they're getting a boost from the High Five Sports Gang it's at the school right now and about to present our Team of the Week hand trophy and Good Day Lettuce Paul Milliken is live in Roswell. It's time for the big moment and I saw you had a little difficulty with the YMCA. When you're dancing with kids who are seven years old who have never heard of disco music, yeah, it took a little time to get it, but they're fine now. And now we've got another classic playing, Celebration by Cool and the Gang. I guarantee you nobody else in this gym knows who Cool and the Gang is, but I love that they're playing this song. And I do want to see some dance moves. Will you guys, let's, come on, come on, just dance. Do it right now. Come on, let's see it, let's see it. I feel like I'm in a rave. I love this. Yeah, just a little jump up and down. Oh, yeah, baby. This is how you celebrate a football season and a team of the week. All right, guys, wait, I'm going to try to make my way through. Very good, very good. The reason we are here, of course, the Paladins of Fellowship Christian having an incredible season right now with a big win on Friday over their rival parents. So got to talk to Coach here. First of all, congrats on being team of the week. How does it feel to get voted team of the week this week? Thank you. We're very honored. We've got a great group of kids, great senior leadership, and it's been a great season so far. Yeah, you certainly have a lot of community support. There's a lot of parents here, a lot of family members, a lot of friends. How does that feel to have the whole community behind this team? It feels amazing. Again, we are part of a great community, great administrative support, and uh, wouldn't want to be any other place. Yeah, we got to talk about Friday's game. I know it was a really big one for you guys. Mount Perrin is a big rival. Tell me what your strategy is or was going into that game. Oh, well, we just came in playing great fundamental football, great team effort and intensity, and the kids hung in there. Yeah. We were down 13-0 uh, and a half, and yeah. they had a lot of heart and came back and played a great second half to win a football game. Absolutely. A lot of grit and a lot of heart on that field for sure. Now, you've got a bye week this week, so you get to rest a little bit. Then you're coming back next week. So tell me next week. What is your mindset? You've got a lot of momentum now. How do you keep these guys focused and ready? We just take them one at a time and do what we do. So we're excited about the opportunity of playing St. Francis, and they got a good football team. And uh, we'll show up and play hard. Yeah, I know you will. Well, Coach, again, thank you very much. And here's – I don't know if you guys were watching earlier this morning, but first thing when I came on, I said I did have to do a little research. I had to figure out exactly what a paladin was. I, I didn't know. Well, here's the answer right next to me. It is a valiant knight, a leader – and that's what these gentlemen are. So who better to hand off the trophy than the paddle? Ladies and gentlemen, your High Five Sports Team of the Week, the Fellowship Christian Paladins! <laughs> and Elise, that's the moment we wait for every single week. The trophy is held high. This team is ready to carry this momentum forward, and we will be with them every single second of the way. Oh, you got to love it.